behind the stun gun, please. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 MCU actors you forgot were in horror movies. I'm Chase Collins. I have everything I could possibly want. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute, can you fly over here? Probably 90% automated. Does that mean yes? Why are they doing this? Why didn't they just kill us? For this list, we'll be looking at actors who appeared in horror movies before becoming widely known for their roles in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Which of these movies did you completely forget about? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Tessa Thompson – When a Stranger Calls The home invasion angle has its own niche in the horror genre and is this film's premise. Scarlet, it's me, Jill. Jill? Can you hear me? Barely, no one can get any service up here. When a Stranger Calls sees teen Jill Johnson babysitting for a wealthy family when she realizes she's being stalked by a killer. Tessa Thompson's part as Jill's best friend Scarlett is little more than a cameo, and her main contribution is to provide Jill with emotional support. Did you hang tough? I hung. I don't want you giving in to those blue eyes. I'm not gonna give in. Although Thompson isn't part of the core story, her character does bring a notable sensitivity to an otherwise intense thriller. In addition to Thompson, When a Stranger Calls also features Clark Gregg as Jill's father, best known to MCU fans as Agent Phil Coulson. Sweetheart, I know, but still. Number 9. Anthony Mackie, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. A decade before he became the MCU's next Captain America, Anthony Mackie played the best friend of one of the country's former presidents. I was back home. Heard you moved here. Studying to be a lawyer. That's good, I'm in need of a good lawyer. This dark fantasy horror has an alternate history where Abraham Lincoln's true identity was as a vampire hunter, with Mackie appearing as Lincoln's partner, Will Johnson. The movie dives big into its premise, as a number of monstrous enemies are faced by the protagonists who seek to vanquish the vampire's leader, Adam. Much like Mackie's role as Falcon saw him stand by his friend Captain America, Will Johnson is equally loyal to Lincoln. Interestingly, Lincoln's mentor Henry Sturgis is played by Dominic Cooper, known for his role as MCU's Howard Stark. We make rather a good team, you and I. One can't help but think of all the good we could do if we had more time. Number 8. Elizabeth Olsen – Martha Marcy May Marlene Elizabeth Olsen was praised for her portrayal of Scarlet Witch in the Disney Plus series WandaVision, but the actress's debut role saw her in a far more spine-chilling scenario. Martha Marcy May Marlene is a psychological horror about a young woman's escape from a cult who may or may not be pursuing her once again. Martha, what happened? Are you okay? Um, I have to go, um... I, I can't stay gone, so, um... The lack of clarity about Martha's past and her constant fear about being caught are the basis for the movie's plot. It's also left intentionally ambiguous as to what's really happening in order to make viewers share Martha's paranoia. Really? You don't know anything about it! Olsen's performance carries the movie, since the framing device is set from Martha's point of view, making it seem as if danger is lurking at every corner. <laughs> Number 7. Jeremy Renner and Idris Elba, 28 Weeks Later Known to MCU audiences for playing Heimdall and Hawkeye, Idris Elba and Jeremy Renner star in 28 Weeks Later as Brigadier General Stone and Sniper Sergeant Doyle, who are responsible for guarding a zombie safe zone. This sequel focuses on the effects of the zombie virus from the original spreading across Britain. Things spiral into chaos after the infection spreads inside the safe zone and zombies begin ravaging everything they find. Brigadier Stone doesn't get into the action much due to his role as a senior army member, but Sergeant Doyle is instrumental in the escape from the infected. See that doorway? I need you to run as fast as you can in a zigzag like this, okay? <laughs> With both actors later becoming leading stars in their own right, it's easy to see why their supporting roles in this horror flick can be forgotten. Where are you going? 
Number 6. Chris Hemsworth, The Cabin in the Woods A satirical take on horror movie tropes, the movie's plot sees a group of college students hunted down near a remote cabin. This is awesome. It is kind of cool. Are you gonna kill us a raccoon to eat? Oh, use its skin to make a cap. <laughs> Films before Chris Hemsworth was cast to star as Thor, but released around the time the hero debuted in the MCU, The Cabin in the Woods was one of Hemsworth's first roles in film. Rather than appearing as the all-powerful protagonist MCU fans are used to, Hemsworth's character, Kurt Vaughn, represents the jock stereotype. We should check the rest of the rooms, make sure this is the only one. So you know Marty wants to watch his pounding away. Engineered by the government to use these victims as human sacrifices, the characters are killed off one by one as they look to survive. Hemsworth isn't the lead in this movie, but did provide some comedic relief in this twist on the horror genre. Number 5. Paul Rudd – Halloween – The Curse of Michael Myers While Paul Rudd's role in 1995's Clueless is still popularly known, it's not common knowledge that the actor and comedian appeared in this slasher movie in the same year. While MCU fans are aware of Rudd's prowess and funny material, he projected a serious performance in The Curse of Michael Myers. I was only eight years old when I saw him. But I was one of the lucky ones. Rudd plays the adult Tommy Doyle, whose obsession with putting down the titular character leads him to protect the Strode family from the Myers' attempts to kill them. In retrospect, the movie has been ignored by the series itself, as the following entries don't acknowledge its connection to the overarching storyline. However, it's interesting to see how the man who plays Ant-Man once channeled his inner Scream Queen. Why are they doing this? Why didn't they just kill us? It's his game. Number 4. Samuel L. Jackson, 1408 While Sam Jackson's role in 2021's Spiral came as a surprise to many, the actor actually appeared in a horror movie over a decade prior. Under my watch, there have been four deaths. Four. After the last one, I forbade any guests from checking into 1408. 1408 is about a man's harrowing stay in a haunted hotel room where he has to survive a night plagued by unimaginable horrors. Jackson plays the hotel manager Gerald Olin, who attempts to dissuade John Cusack's protagonist character from staying in room 1408. It's all in here. I will let you have this and give you access to my office. You can take notes, put it all in your book. My only condition is that you do not stay in that room. Jackson's role is relatively small, however, as the film's minimalist setting means Olin appears infrequently. An apparition of Olin does antagonize the hero at a point in the movie, which should show MCU fans that Jackson's acting chops extend far beyond portraying Nick Fury. Why do you think people believe in ghosts? For fun? No, it's the prospect of something after death. Number 3. Karen Gillan, Oculus MCU's Nebula possesses a darker personality compared to other characters in Guardians of the Galaxy, but Karen Gillan's role in Oculus saw her placed in a completely scary backdrop. The story sees siblings Kaylee and Tim bid for revenge against a haunted mirror that tore their family apart. It's about to ship out to a new buyer, so we only have a few days. That should be enough. A few days for what, Kaylee? To keep our promise and kill it. As adults, the brother-sister pair decide to confront the mirror and put an end to its curse. However, the characters realize they're far from prepared for the hallucinations the mirror projects at them as the two become trapped in one horrifying loop after another. Oculus was released just a year before Gillen's MCU debut, making it her first mainstream role, although her first venture in horror was the low-budget 2010 flick, Outcast. <laughs> Number 2. Scarlett Johansson – Eight-Legged Freaks 
Before playing one of the leading superheroes in the entire MCU as Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson's days as a teen star saw her appear as rebellious daughter Ashley in this monster movie. Mom, I'm not you, okay? I I'm not gonna get pregnant at 16. I'm not gonna stay here for the rest of my life and be like a trailer trash sheriff. All right. With David Arquette in the lead role, Eight-Legged Freaks has a B-movie plot with a small town facing a crisis of mutated spiders attacking their home. Although it's not as strictly invested in its horror premise, the film does have some legitimate scares with Johansson's character facing the worst of the spiders' attacks. <laughs> having gone on to appear as the lead star in the horror Under the Skin, while simultaneously appearing in the MCU, Johansson's turn in Eight-Legged Freaks is a distant memory that Black Widow fans will definitely find unfamiliar. Do you have any idea how embarrassing that is? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Josh Brolin, Mimic. Who knew something could ever scare Thanos himself? Sebastian Stan, The Covenant. Because the Winter Soldier isn't the actor's only villainous role. Come to save little Miss Muffet, have we? Well, you're too late! Chris Pratt, Jennifer's Body. Because he essentially played Peter Quill in a horror movie. Two more months. Then I'm on the force for reals. Are you, uh, are you gonna cuff me? Oh, don't do that. I'm here. Angela Bassett, Critters 4. This cheesy horror is better left forgotten from the Queen of Wakanda's filmography. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. Wait a minute, can you fly this ship? Probably 90% automated. Does that mean yes? Paul Bettany, Legion. Turns out this actor was an angel before he was an android. Take one more step and I'll drop you right there. Is that how you greet all your customers? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Mark Ruffalo, Robert Downey Jr. and Jake Gyllenhaal, Zodiac. A year before changing the superhero landscape forever with his turn as MCU's Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. played crime reporter Paul Avery in Zodiac. It also stars eventual MCU actors Mark Ruffalo and Jake Gyllenhaal, who portray Inspector Dave Toskey and author Robert Graysmith, respectively. Dave, I don't want to touch you right now, Paul. Just trying Not to do my now. job. Oh, oh, really? Well, now I can't do mine. We already screwed up the amount of tips we got on this thing, and, and you've just freaked out the entire state. Zodiac is a mystery thriller about the decades-long hunt to discover the Zodiac Killer's identity. The killer's constant taunting of the protagonist to catch him serve as the main source of the conflict, with each main character struggling to stop him. We're really not going to run any more of his letters? A new policy. Our brothers in blue want us to hold back and see how he reacts. After watching Downey Jr., Ruffalo, and Gyllenhaal in the lighter-themed MCU films, Zodiac's bleak and scary premise offers fans an entirely different view of these actors. Mr. Graysmith, Zodiac hasn't written in three years. You know how many murders we've had in San Francisco since then? No. Over 200. It's a lot of dead people and grieving families that need our help. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.